to speed or not to speed? That is today's question here on Turbo Tortoise Tech. Sit back, relax and enjoy the not slow. Now in the constant quest for speed, SSDs and hard drives have really been a bottleneck in computing. To further answer this and just remove the issue entirely, Flexstore has made a beautiful 256 gig PCI Express NVMe SSD. This is the little guy here in question. Now it does have a full heatsink on it, which is just simply fantastic. So it won't drop any of that performance, which is very crucial with NVMe SSDs. And it's kind of, basic but that's kind of its brilliance at the same time so what they've done is they've taken kind of an old school approach where basically the pcb itself is just acting as a card reader for the interface there's the m.2 mounted over here and then slap a heatsink on top of that if you look inside there you can even see the little m.2 itself on the side they've put the led for RGB as they call it, but unfortunately it's got a couple of set functionalities. One of them is to show you when it's reading or writing, but the device acts so quickly it literally flashes one LED and then resets itself again for the next write cycle. So it's too fast for its own good. But let's see with Crystal Disk how fast it really is. Now let's have a look at the Crystal Disk Mark info and let me try and explain exactly what's going on here. So when Crystal Disk does a test, it does it in a variety of different methods and this is a really good thing. So basically it does a full read and write test to see what the drive can do when it's under constant writing of the same file. So for instance, copying for instance video files or game files across from one to the other and ISO or some kind of large file, that's what it's measuring there. Now with the remainder, it's reading how it can move around small files, whether it be read or write, and it's limiting the amount of threads and workload that the CPU can get involved with to test on each level how good it really is. So there is actually some really interesting data here on the Q3T1 or Q32T1, and that's basically 32 tasks within a single thread because you can't queue more than 32 tasks on any machine in a single thread and that's basically what one thread of CPU performance will give you with that SSD and that shows how good the actual Samsung controller is and how good it is at writing smaller files. But now, for instance, if you look at the hard drive's scores of a normal spinning disk, you can see how massive the difference in performance is. And that's what you're feeling when you buy an SSD product, is actually the smaller files being written much quicker than rather than the larger ones. And that's what makes your windows and stuff feel very snappy. Now, this improves further with the PCI Express because they've taken out instructions that the SATA drives or that SSD drives actually don't need. So what's happening is, a spinning disk spins around, right? And it's got a spool that has a little reader that then reads information off the head. Now that has an instruction set behind it to access and read data that solid states don't have because they're physically different. So PCI Express technology is taking out all of those instruction sets and making it a lot more fluid, which you can then see results in massively larger performance, especially when accessing large files. Alrighty, so as you can see, if you need to load up some speed in your machine, then this is definitely the weapon of choice, if, if I'm honest. But once again, it comes down to kind of that conundrum of, do you choose 256 gigs at 3000 megabit speed, six times faster than traditional SSDs, or do you double up on your space and rather go for something a little bit more middle of the road? I think if you absolutely can't stand gaming loading times and if you are just nuts about really not waiting for anything and programs opening before you even double click just of thought, then this is definitely going to be a good drive for you. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. Please do let us know what you think of this review and this SSD down in the comments below. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. No, it's just an SSD, but like and subscribe anyway, so you can see more of us just doing weird and crazy stuff here on T3. Where are you going, Brian? Where are you